But he wants to be a running back, he said. But we'll see. Don't go for it. Yeah. He's like, go for it. It's like, yep. said, David, I want to be a black belt. I'm not going to – I was like, all right, let's, let's go to work. How do you feel that's, that's improved your relationship with him? It's, it's greatly improved it. We've been closer. Um, he shares, um, like, food with me that he'll see that looks good or uh, exercise stuff. Mm-hmm. Like, hey, do you think we can try this out? So, so he's even coming to you with suggestions mm-hmm. and ideas. Right. Had he been doing that a few months ago? No. It's crazy, isn't it? Video games in a bedroom. Video games in a bedroom to now coming to you. Hey, Dad, can we try this out? Yep. I'm getting, I mean, I got a hoodie on. You can't see my goosebumps. But like, that's, that's so cool, bro. Isn't yep. it? It is. So this is what we talked about is like when we're changing, when we're changing like the family tree and like the, re, like the behaviors and the reason that he's doing that instead of, you know, TV, living room, uh, video games, like he sees dad working out and he sees dad, you know, getting in shape and, and, and improving. And he's like, what you do and what you say is like they see in here and it's magnified. And so now right. you're starting to see his behaviors uh evolve as your behaviors evolve and as as, you know as fathers and as parents and leaders like we have to go first we can't say son you need to blah 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 son you blah 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 son you blah 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 i'm like and they like they they roll your eyes at you because they're like yeah right like like look at you makes sense and that's a hard reality for a lot of parents and it's like you want to set the example set the example and you have been and uh it's it's really cool to see i love that what else is that I keep having to adjust my, my belt because it keeps falling down. Mm-hmm. So now I'm trying to pull my pants up because the weight of it's pulling the pants down. Yep. So it's going to get uh, tailored up, man. <laughs> um, One question. How many times months ago did you ever post a selfie with your shirt off? Never. Never. <laughs> and that's even what I think. That's even, is that, and so what I'm saying is like you're enjoying your results you're enjoying what you see and you're proud about it and it's just like you never and that's one thing that i've noticed is like hey he's working out again hey there's another selfie with the shirt off it's like because it's it's cool like you enjoy it like you're proud of yourself and you should be because it's like you've been the one putting in the work and so when we reap the rewards of uh, of our hard work and the fruits of our labor it's fun and so it's yeah man it's like you got it you got it right yes sir I love it. I love it. I love it. So confidence is up. Energy is up. <laughs> Waistline is down. This relationship with your son is improving. Mm-hmm. It's all good, man. Right? Definitely. So even looking back at that, why let, and let's really pinpoint this. What and why were you not behaving this way prior? What were the things that you were telling yourself? It was just uh, where we were at was um, at the time uh, was good enough. Um, I didn't, there wasn't anything I, no goals I had to work for. No so we go talk- up, yep. I'm going to relax. I'm going to eat whatever I want to eat. Um, and there wasn't any kind of motivation to go try to be better. Um, Cause as at the time, as of right now, we were, I mean, I can still fight and beat people. So Mm-hmm. Why do I need to look better? Uh, or why do I need to, to lose weight? Mm-hmm. Um, I'm still able to do the stuff that I'm doing currently. Mm-hmm. Um, I didn't, there wasn't a goal or anything, but now it's improved on that. I can do those things better and I can be an example for others. Um, and of course, looking in the mirror does help out a lot. Oh, when yeah. You see your- oh. oh yeah. So that's now, a- now I, so the wife liked it and now she's like, hold on. Now you're getting, <laughs> I'm going to have to start feeding you some cakes because I don't like this. <laughs> Let me ask you this. Do you think, because one thing that you said is like, I didn't have any goals or targets. I think that's a huge, I, I think that's huge, period. Um, if you went to your son, what do you want to do? I don't know. What don't you like, don't you have any, like, what's some of your goals? I don't have any. Like, you don't have any go- no. Well, what do you want to do with what do you want to do with football? What do you want to do with your what do you want to do with school? What do you want to do with I don't know. Like what would what kind of like what would you what would you not tell him, but like what would you think to yourself? 
it is, you have to have something to look forward to or to, to reach for, you know? Right. So it's even the same thing. That's what's even the same thing for you is just like have targets and make them, um, and make them proximal, meaning aim high, but just outside of your current capabilities. There's no such thing. There's no such thing as unrealistic expectation and goals. What there is is unrealistic deadlines. Make sense? Right. I've never done any martial arts in my life. I want to become a black belt in six months. Is that an unrealistic deadline? Yes. Well, for for jujitsu, yes. For jujitsu, right? Makes sense. Yeah. But if I just said I want to become a black belt, but I've never done jujitsu, is that can I accomplish that? Definitely. Of course I can. But the goal isn't unrealistic, even though I've never done it, but the deadline was. Make sense? Right. So Definitely. When, so when you set your targets, we want to take these into consideration and we want to make them proximal and not outlandish but something that is definitely going to challenge us on the way. Does that make sense? Right. Yes, sir. So even thinking about things, that was huge. It's like, man, I wasn't really pushing myself. I wasn't really challenging myself. Well, actually, I didn't have any targets or, or goals to challenge myself. And that was, part of the, that was part of the equation that was slowing you down. Does that make sense? 